hoping to be an EGOT. I want the Emmy, the Grammy, the Oscar, and the Tony. First Jamaican one. You, Glena aired first. Because Glena came my first play. They write about my first play since the father. And I'm actually going to put that play on Broadway. The judges extend their heartfelt appreciation to all the applicants for their effort and dedication in bringing their stories to life. The recognition is particularly dedicated or directed, excuse me, to our first time filmmakers. I know some of you are first time filmmakers. Hey, hey, right? And also to those individuals, I know there's also those individuals who are, in addition to making the film, they wear many other hats. So they're writers, directors, and producers. So hats off to all of you guys. And the winner, the overall winner for the Fury Short Film Competition 2023 is Mr. Joel. <laughs> Second year in a row, you are the winner, but this time you actually get to be at the ceremony. What's that like for you? Amazing, you know, because last year we did a foreign, and I couldn't even know when my ear like me with hours after the ceremony done. And so this is amazing, you know, because like one of my dreams is to win an Oscar, and uh, this can be like the precursor to it. So it's amazing to just see, watch other films and see my film on a big screen. That's an amazing feeling, obviously, a film on a big screen and the reception of the audience have from it. And like, me didn't want them other reaction, like, ah, oh, and everybody have the ah, oh. so it was like amazing to see my film on a big screen for the first time. You know, and then being at the competition, I'm a love competition, because I was a track star in my early days, you know, so I love competition. So if I come defend my title, I feel like you see Bolt or Shelly or Elaine. But I was a different attack, so you know, it was amazing. Even though I'm new to film, I've been doing theatre, you know, and people always like, give me compliments, say like, I can be one of the greats. So it's, it's a humbling feeling. I'm humbled by those receptions. And we just want to um, solidify people's opinion of me. So it made me just feel like I have to do more work and do more research and just come better because like even last year I couldn't get complacent from the last year win, you know what I mean? I have a research, I'm not saying I come for me, I say blows and skirt, I have come with a can I say blows and skirt? Yeah. Well I'm saying so I have come with something new and out of the box. So it kinda challenged me. So like when people say those things to me, it challenged me to be better. Yeah. Speaking of them coming for you last year, the person who collected on your behalf was George. Yeah. No, he's the one who was right behind you. Right behind me. Yeah, I mean, boy, I'm yeah. How do you feel to be competing with such a good friend of yours? It, it, it's amazing, you know, but it, it, it was very interesting at first because like, when it did come out and say, I want to do it. Like, one of my team say, you can't make George shoot and edit thing, you understand? But me and George reason. I message out, I don't say you want to be a filmmaker, so go ahead, you understand? And just give me a last week, because I make my film in a one week. So I'm going to take you three weeks and make your film, and give me the last week. And he was very respectable to do that. And him, and him, he you know, film great, you know what I mean? He could have sabotaged my film. And it's, it's really a community, I'm, I appreciate for Abu you understand? Because he's an honest man, and I want to say great things to him. I told him I got the Oscar, you know what I mean? I told him I got the Oscar, you understand? So two years in a row, you're in the top three. What does that feel like? Uh, crazy special. I am really ecstatic. I'm excited. It's been a rough ride. It has, isn't easy to, to be working on you know, some high quality productions like we tried to do with these films. Like it took some sleepless nights and it took as well a lot of uh, communication with team members and so on. It was a short time, but um, I'm excited that you know I have an award and I can celebrate today. Last year you were here collecting on Joel's behalf. No, this year he's the one that beat you out. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Woman, we still consider ourselves winners. Uh, Joel contacted me and he wanted me to work as a cinematographer and the film editor doing the film score as well for his film. And even though I was in the competition, I had to oblige. I love working with Joel. And sadly, he couldn't be here um, to collect last year because he was abroad. So I represented. 
So it was definitely an opportunity for me to, to see if I can just clip his wings this year. But I mean, we work together well regardless of, and I'm happy with what I'm able to collect. The multiple awards and the second place. Okay. Last year you spoke about the advancements that you wanted to see in the film industry. Have you seen any of those employed? Yeah, definitely. Like, I'm, I'm loving some of the things I'm seeing coming out of uh, film festivals. Uh, there, there's a lot of new projects I've seen through um, that place in terms of how we're using um, film to tell unique stories. That's, that continues to be a passion of mine, and I'm seeing that more. Um, I'm looking forward to what will happen with the film fund that has come out from the ministry, from the government. And so that I know is something that will be advancing the, the film industry in general. So I'm looking forward to how that will impact us. Your film last year was very different from your entry this year. What what this, what made you decide to switch it up like that? More range, you know what I mean? As I say, like in the competition, like I know people are watching last year film and say, well, this is what we need to better. You get me, I say? And that's why in my intro, I talk about so I have to run 9.58 like bold. Because when I come back next year, and I think I run the same thing. I run faster. So I have to become, I have to show my range. Last year, I do a tragedy more and do something lighter this year. And more want to do something very different. Last year, I had a big story plot. This year, I want to do something more intimate. So it's like this was opposite day. This was really opposite day. Can I be great to the opposite spectrum of filmmaking? I'm not even going to achieve that. Yeah. You are very authentically Jamaican. Do you ever feel the pressure to conform at all? Well, you know, so I used to go to school of foreign. I used to go to um, high school of foreign. And uh, I come back to Jamaica, right? I go to high school of foreign and I kind of love it there. And it actually informed a lot of my filmmaking decision. And I do actually want to go to College of Foreign and how Yahweh presented it that I have to come back to UA. I mean, it's been at first. Based on when I come to UA, I just start love Jamaican culture more and I feel like me is a pioneer for Jamaican culture. And so, yeah, I just feel like me is like a Louise Bennett and um, Bob Marley. Like I always say, Louise Bennett and Bob Marley are my father and my mother. And uh, I'm them son. I'm the film. They do music and she do poetry. And me and them son. I feel like my thing needs to be Jamaican but great. We're like international people can understand and look on it, but it is Jamaican to the core. And so that is very, very important to me.